All right, we are back. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we left off. I'm gonna go ahead and preview. So you can see here, we've got a little spaceship, we've got some asteroids flying around, and we've got a point counter up in the left-hand corner. So one of the next things that I wanted to work on was the main menu UI and some of the other user interfaces throughout the game. Right now, you can go ahead and see when we start our game, it has a game logo and a just basic template start button. So let's go ahead and change this up and dress this up a little bit. So I'm going to exit out of my preview. I'm gonna go over to my mind map here in the corner and I'm going to double click on my main menu UI. So first things first, I'm going to delete this untitled gray image and I'm going to get rid of the game logo here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing in some of my images. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my background. I'm gonna drop it in as an image, and that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out here. I'm gonna go ahead and shift this over and stretch it out a little bit, perfect. Okay, great. So there's the color that I want to work with. You can see here that when I have it stretched down, there's a little bit of a different color going on here. So right about there is where I want it. So that's the color that I want right there. Now I'm gonna start bringing in some stars as well. I'm gonna use them as images. Perfect, okay, so I dropped in my four different star images and I might just shrink them down to try to get more out of them. Okay, cool, that looks good. I might shrink this one down as well. The more I shrink it down, the more stars are in the main menu UI. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get as many as I can in there. Okay, that looks cool. Kinda looks like pepper or salt and pepper. Okay, cool. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move our start button up to the top and we're gonna put in a new image for our start button. So I'm gonna drag in my image and this time I'm gonna drag it in over here in the image box. So this is just going to replace. And I'm gonna move this up just a little bit here. And one other thing that you can do is you can add in an animation to your UI. So let me show you how this is done. So you just drag in your animation images and you drag the whole thing in as just an image. Okay, great, that's perfect. I might make it just a little bit bigger. I'll do 1.2 and 1.2, because I really like that spaceship and I want it to be really easy to see. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a main menu title. Very awesome, looks super cool. Thank you, Danny Orheda. That's our build box artist who did all of the artwork for this game and he's a fantastic and really talented artist. So I gotta give him credit for making some awesome artwork here. So this is looking pretty good. Let's add in a couple more things. I'm going to add in some minions and I'm gonna drop them in as images. Great, and now I'm gonna go ahead and move them up right about here. I'm gonna probably move these down a little bit. And I'm gonna lock that up. I'm gonna move this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock up all of my star images right now so that I'm not messing with them anymore. So, got my start button, got my little spaceship, I'm gonna move this down, resituate this, bring in, actually I'm gonna unlock this minion because I still wanna move this around. And I might do a little bit of rotation here. And I'm gonna just copy and paste another one in there, but I'm gonna rotate this one over like this so that it's a little bit more evenly placed. Great, now let's drag in a couple more images. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in a boss image. And you're gonna see this boss later because we're gonna do a really awesome boss battle scene that you have to pass in order to continue with the game. So I've got an awesome boss character up here and I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger, I think. I'm going to make him about 1.5 and 1.5. He's looking really mean with those thick eyebrows. I love this thick V eyebrow here. You can see he's angry. And I think I might recenter him just a little bit. Kind of move that up a little bit here, yeah. Okay, cool. Great, so at this point I'm just replacing things and resituating things. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a sound off button. So I'm going to drag in an audio button into my scene and I'm going to drag in a sound off button and a sound on button. So first I'll do the sound off here in the bottom one. It says sound is off and you wanna drag in your image in for that. And then I'm gonna drag in an image for sound is on over here on the right. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna resituate that and put that up here in the top left corner. And I'm also going to put in a restore purchases button. And remember, you do have to have a restore purchases button to submit a game to the App Store or to the Play Store. That's one of their requirements. So I'm gonna go over here to the bottom right and I'm gonna change the function from default 
to restore purchase. Great, and now I'm gonna drag in the restore purchases image. I'm gonna put that image up in the top right corner, and then I'm gonna add in a couple buttons at the bottom. So I'm gonna drag in another navigation button here, and I'm gonna go to the bottom right here, and I'm gonna make this a game services button. So this is basically like the game center button. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag in an image for that. And then I'm gonna drag in a couple other buttons. I'm going to drag in a purchase button, which is going to remove ads. And I'm gonna change the, so I'm gonna to go to the bottom right here and I'm going to change the type from action to remove ads. I'll scroll down here. I'll click on buy and use because you're only going to remove ads once. And you can make it be either in-game currency, an in-app purchase, or a rewards video. So whatever you want to do. I think most people tend to go with an in-app purchase. And if you are going to use in-game currency, then you get to decide what the price is going to be to remove those ads. And I'm gonna drag in another button here, and then this is going to be a navigation button, and this is going to be a character shop. So you'll be able to buy different colored spaceships and different types of spaceships. And I'm gonna make sure that I keep this function as default here. Okay, so that's looking much better. Let's take a look at what that looks like now. So we can see that the game title is a little bit too big and it's covering up the minions and the boss. So we're gonna fix that right now. But we've got this really cool rotation on the rocket and we've got this great tap to play and a really good looking user interface now. So I'm gonna just move things around a little bit and resituate them so they're better. I'm going to drag the preview window over here to the left and I'm gonna take build box, I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit. I will press space bar on my keyboard so that I can turn the little mouse into a Mickey Mouse glove and then I'm able to shift things around like this so I can get to recenter it. So I'm going to bring this over to the right and now I can mess with the title and everything I want in real time which makes things a lot easier. So one thing I might do is I might bring up the boss just a little bit. Yeah, right about there. Same thing with the minions. I think I might bring those in a little bit closer just a lot of, like that. Great, I think that that looks pretty good. And it's important to remember that there's different iPhone sizes. So this is what it looks like for an iPhone 4, but it's also good to check out what it looks like on an iPhone 5. See, you have a little bit more space there, but it's still nice and evenly placed. I might move this down just a little bit here. And let's go back and make sure that that's working on the iPhone 4 as well. Good, I think that'll work. And I'll teach you something else here too. You can make sure that these are all evenly placed by looking at the position. So over here in the top right, I'm going to change the position. So this is the X position and this is the Y position. So I'm going to make sure that this Y position is at 92. And then I'm going to do the same for these as well. So I'm going to click on this one and then go up to the top right and change that one to 92. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the Game Center button. I'm gonna go up here to the top right and make sure that this is set to 92 as well. So now I know for sure that they're all evenly placed along the Y axis. So they're all at the same height. There's one more thing I wanna do before leaving because I wanna do one UI animation because right now we've got some animations going with our minions and with our boss and our spaceship, but we could definitely use one for the tap to play. I think it would really look cool if the opacity changed from like 0.5 to one back to 0.5. And so it draws the player in and it captures their attention. So I'm going to click on tap to play. And in the bottom left corner, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on idle and I'm gonna press record. So this is the record button. So any movements that I do and make changes to, it's being recorded. So this is how you do this, okay? In the beginning, I want this at this point right here, and you can move this little thing left and right. So at the zero mark here, I want to make sure that the opacity is set to one. So I'm going to click over here under the top right, and I'm going to click on one, and I'm going to just hit enter. And what that does is it creates a little green marker right underneath it, okay? And then I'm gonna drag my orange marker over to the 20th place marker, and then I'm gonna to go to the upper right, and I'm gonna change the opacity from one to 0 0.5. And then I'm going to hit tab or enter. Now that I've changed the opacity to 0 0.5, you can see here in the bottom, there's a little green marker, okay? And so there it is right there. And you're actually able to move this marker left and right if you like. If you decide that you don't want this opacity change on the 20th marker and you want it to happen earlier on like the 10th marker, then you can go ahead and do that. But 
I'm going to go ahead and do one more. In the bottom right here, I'm going to make sure that I've got my marker set on 40. And then I'm going to go up here to the top right and change the opacity from 0.5 to 1. OK, perfect. So now in the bottom left, I'm going to turn off the record button so that I'm not moving anything around again. OK, so I'm going to press play and see if it's working. So I'm pressing play and nice okay so it's starting to turn the opacity off on and off but it only did it once so now i need to exit out of my preview again and press this little loop button so it's going to keep looping and do it over and over and over again so i'm going to press play and now you're going to see the opacity changing in and out over and over and over again okay see how it's kind of flashing it's light and it's a, kind of difficult to see so i'm going to zoom in here so you can see it but you can see that it's going in and out, in and out with the opacity. And so I think that that's really good. It helps draw the player into the play button, which is what you want. So I'm going to exit out of this. And one thing I wanted to show you real quick is you'll notice now that the spaceship is not rotating all the way around like it was before. And so here's the reason why that is. If you exit out of this preview and you go over here to the image and you check on this edit button here, you'll notice that the animation is out of 60 frames. And right now what we're doing is we're playing a total of 40 frames and it's looping. So it's getting to that 40th frame, it's starting back over again, and it's cutting off this animation. So one way to fix that is you can either change this one here to 60 frames. I'm going to take these two green markers. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to make sure I've got my orange marker on 30 and I'm going to fix the opacity change so that it is at 0.5 at 30 and then at 60 it's going to be 1. So now I'm going to go ahead and press play again and check to make sure that works. Now you'll notice something else as well. So you'll notice that it gets cut off once and then it starts rotating perfectly. So here's what's happening. So I'm going to start this over again and first it's gonna get cut off, boom. Okay, it got cut off right there. And then now it's gonna keep spinning and spinning and spinning and it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna exit out of my preview and here's why that's happening. I need to go over to my open event and I need to make sure that the amount of frames on this one is 60 as well so that it's not cutting off the spaceship rotation. So I'm gonna press tab, and then let's try that again. Awesome, okay. You can see there that it made a full revolution and it continues to make revolutions. Every single time it reaches 60 frames, it starts back over again and loops over again, and it's just working perfectly. Okay, great. So that's it for this video. We worked mostly on the main menu UI and some animations, but we're going to continue to add on this and build on this until we have a complete game. So if you thought this video was useful, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe.